everyone. Um, my name is Rox. I'm from Gearn Labs, where we're currently building Gearn Wallet and Doppler Finance on the XRP Ledger. And today, I'm going to talk about XRP Phi. So, like to start off, uh, I just want to address the huge XRP market in the beginning. So, you know, XRP has been around for a long time, over 10 years. It has a huge market cap, like over 130 bill. And when you look at the holder counts or trading volumes on centralized exchanges, you can see that it's like huge. And you know, with this uh, price surge in the last one year, and also like XRP being included in the US Strategic Reserve, you see that a lot of interest is also growing on the XRP asset itself. But apart, like despite all of this like huge market out there, I mean, when you look at the on-chain like data for on-chain of XRP, you can see that it's quite low in the penetration and like and the activation rates for XRP. So like when you look at the on-chain data and numbers, uh, for example, like DAU daily active users, TVL total value locked. When you compare it to all those like other on-chain ecosystems like ETH, Polygon, Sui, Aptos, Solana. You can see that it is, it is like a f uh, fraction, like a fraction of all of those other chains out there. So, wh what's the what's the reason? Like, why why is the XRP ledger or XRP like not activated that much on chain, and why is DeFi not like still remaining dormant on the XRP ecosystem? And for this, there are two bottlenecks, there are two problems that we actually see. So the number one is the limited programmability. So when you look at the XRP ledger, it doesn't have smart contracts. So from a builder's perspective, there's not really, it's really difficult to build any kind of like complicated DeFi protocols on the XRP ledger, or just make these DApps like really complicated ones. And number two is the limited yield opportunities. So because XRP doesn't have native staking yields, from like a user's or a holder's perspective, there's not that much incentives from there to like from them to bring their XRPs on chain from centralized exchanges or off chain. But however, things are changing. So a new wave in XRPL is uh, happening uh, starting last year. So you, you all saw the AMM Dex coming out last March, and that like set up the foundation for all the liquidity on chain. And also EVM connectivity is coming out. So Axelar bridging the ETH mainnet to XRP Ledger. And also, you know, there's the EVM sidechain. So you can see the EVM connectivity happening on the XRP Ledger. And lastly, I think they announced it like, uh, uh, yesterday, too, in another session. And there's going to be programmability coming up on the XRP Ledger. So there's going to be some VM integrations. I, I, it, I think it was Wasm VM for the VM. And also like smart escrow, smart contracts. They're working on like programmability on the XRP ledger. So in the end, there's kind of like shift in the like wave as as wave in the XRP ledger these days. And now I want to introduce you to XRP Phi. So it's it's a simple concept. It's combining XRP and DeFi. But if you go into it a bit more deeper than that, uh, it like it is a very like more important. Uh, concept that I want to introduce. So XRP, in the end, with its like, huge holder base and all the huge market out there, stands for the liquidity side. And DeFi is, in the end, providing utilities for XRP and uh, XRP. And when you combine these two terms, uh, we have XRP Phi. And the core, like, core thing, or the core vision I see for the XRP Phi is basically just activating idle XRP via the like, DeFi utilities on-chain. And this is the like, whole you know, like, ecosystem or the whole vision that I see for the XRP Phi. So starting with DEXs, with more complicated DEXs like CLMMs and just like, with more like liquidity pools. And also the money markets like lending, borrowing for XRP, yield protocols, where you can earn on your XRPs and earn yields on your XRPs. And other than that, there's also these RWAs, stable coins, and you know, cross-chain bridges, where you can like, move around your XRPs to other chains and other ecosystems in the end. And like, in the end, it's all about just having like, XRP more like, alive and giving it like, life, and also making it utilized on-chain. But apart from that, I envision the XRP Phi to 
Like, we're in a state where XRP is utilized in all the like, Web3 ecosystems out there. So imagine that like, XRP is being utilized in this chain, this chain over there, also on the XRP ledger, just all of these like, DeFi protocols out there, and just ma maximizing the utility of XRP in the end. And in the end, like, to make this more smoother and like, a, a foster this whole growth of XRP Phi, I believe that a user-centric approach is one of the key things that we should focus on. So from a DeFi protocol's perspective, it has to be like really easy for the users to use. And just in a DeFi sense, really easy for users to experience DeFi. And in, in this process, wallets are there to help. Because personally, I think that wallets are the first gateways that bring on the users to on-chain from the off-chain. Uh, off and it provides like first step for users to come on to the on-chain world. And if like the wallets can make this user journey really easy, alongside with the uh, DeFi protocols out there, they can work really hand in hand to grow this like mass adoption of the users to the on-chain DeFi world, where they can actually use their XRPs and like all these uh, like DeFi protocols out there. So to combine all the things that I've mentioned uh, throughout the like, previous slides, I want to say that the future of XRP Phi, you know, XRP, RUSD, Ripple's like, uh, strength in payments, banks, institutions. And if we can just click that like, one last piece of XRP Phi with all of these like, huge markets and opportunities out here, we will definitely see a huge, like, massive like, new on-chain market that's going to come out for the XRP. And personally, like, I think if this is possible, if this happens, I don't see any reasons why it cannot uh, surpass all the other ecosystems like ETH or Solana or out there. So to wrap everything up, I just want to mention that XRP Phi is, could be a simple, but actually it's a really important and like, strong concept that we really have to focus on. And in the end, XRP Phi is going to bring the mass adoption of the on-chain e uh, retail ecosystem for XRP. And that is also goes along like, with the vision that we have at Guerin Labs. Our vision is to activate the on-chain retail ecosystem of XRP. And to, as a last note, I want to say XRP Phi is just getting started, and we're still early on everything. So thank you. Uh, thank you, everyone. Mm -hmm.